Welcome back to Citizen Live at One. Now, a Kajiado farmer whose goats and sheep yesterday died after allegedly eating poisonous feed is a worried man. Speaking to Citizen TV, the owner, Felix Olenkaru, confirmed that 50 goats and sheep had died after allegedly consuming poisonous animal feed. He says he bought 20 sacks of the animal feed from a go-down in Isinia town with the hope of feeding 300 goats and sheep, but the animals are dying by the hour. Efforts to speak to the management of the store were futile, but police visited the site and took samples of the feed. We'll have more information on that. In the Well, we're moving to Nandi County now, where a colorful celebration of the local culture was marked amidst calls to conserve Kenya's diverse heritage. Sports and Culture Cabinet Secretary Hassan Wario said the government will work closely with all 47 counties to promote cultural heritage as a facet of economic development. <laughs> Celebrating a culture that they know is slowly slipping away and all that is left is cherishing memories of what once was. This traditional mock dance is urging one of their own to settle down and build her home. This circumcision song might appear controversial now as it is a dance to woe a woman to undergo the cut. But in the days gone by, this was an important phase that marked the transition from childhood to adulthood. A celebration as big as this one cannot be held without some food, right? What about a demonstration on how to grind millet? <laughs> the different aspects of the Kalenjin culture displayed here are a reminder of what is dying as communities embrace westernization. We shall continue uh, to support all these counties in their endeavor to ensure that culture moves to the center of development, not to the periphery. That culture is well. This is wealth that has not been exploited, and we need to exploit it now. We need to know that our cultural heritage, it is our wealth. Well, culture brewed in the African port may be unique by all standards, but will it make sense if we wait to celebrate it once a year? For Citizen Live at One, I am Anne Mawathe. Oh, thank you, Anne. Good question. Now, on to a rather bizarre story. A famous Kiambu pastor was saved from a mob after he was arrested administering witchcraft, allegedly, in a house belonging to a witch doctor in Tala. 30-year-old James Kimansi, who runs several churches in Kiambu and Meru, was allegedly found at the homestead carrying witchcraft concoctions and donning his official preaching attire. On close interrogation, he was found with a paper bag containing bones, the head of a chicken, and that of a dog. Kimanthi is said he had been sent to pray for the witch doctor, but he couldn't explain why he was carrying the concoctions. He was arrested by police and is awaiting charges. Kuna, kuna tu, tumikono hivi toa watu, watoto, kuna vitu zingine sinakaa ndamu, nyueleza wana wake, na vitu zingine kama, na kuna nguo zingine, kuna nguo zingine alikuwa amebeba, sinakaa kama kanisa. Kwa sababu badai ilijulikana ya kwamba kuna, na nini, hakuna kanisa. Na mbado alikuwa amebeba mba hivyo. Sae nasemekana ni pasla, lakini kulingana vitu zile alikuwa amebeba, sio vitu za kanisa. Nikaona mtu, amebeba bag. Akakuja, akapita, akazunguka. Nikaona huyu mtu akona vitu ambavyo si vizuri. Nikamwambia toa hizi vitu. Akatoa nguo ya, ya, ya mahombi. Akavaa, akavaa nguo zake zote. Nikamuliza na hii ikondani ni nini. Akatoa, nikakuta ni vitu ya uchawi. Na siruali nae. Sasa siruali ni watoto wako walikuwa mefungwa. Mm -hmm. 
utasikunja kuwa ama kupata bimbo asai kama isiweza ulitoa wapi sasa hii suruali ilikuwa ndani ya upembe Before we go to business, it has to be said that is a really troubling story, but it certainly looks like community policing is alive and well, which is an important thing. Nyumba Kubi, it seems, is working.